Since the dawn of mankind, humanity has looked to the stars. One small step for man. I, I think it's important for us to, to keep pushing those boundaries, to keep exploring. One giant leap for mankind. From escaping Earth's orbit, to reaching outer space, to going to the moon and beyond, rockets have powered our way. Two, one. No tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. But I bet you didn't know a lot of mankind's endeavors to the stars are thanks to Utah and a facility few know exist. Off State Route 83, built high up into the hillside, is a group of people who make space travel a reality. It's kind of funny to put ranching and, and rockets together, but literally we are neighbors side by side. So if it's to the stars you want to go, Northrop Grumman's rocket test facility has got you covered. Collectively here, we design and build um, the, the motor segments. That's the most significant thing that people remember. But we also have design responsibility for all of the other pieces and parts that all come together to make a booster. Um, a lot of defense programs and... and we have main engine start. Obviously the space shuttle One. program. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. Images like these have been etched into the history books and into our memories. Images that without the solid rocket boosters made here in Utah would not have been possible. But with the space shuttle fleet launching for the final time in 2011, 10 years later, it's time for something new. And if you haven't already heard, it's called Artemis. The Artemis program, right, we're returning to the moon. Um, so Artemis 1 is the first flight. It's a test flight. We'll be able to learn a lot. Um, and we'll be able to take that information and, and, you know, move the program forward. Matt Meekum is one of those who helped start it all. For me personally, it's, it's pretty important. I've spent a lot, of, a, a lot of time, a lot of years. I worked the program from the inception as a design engineer, so I have a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. I like to say my fingerprints are all over this rocket. His job is to make sure all of the tech to make this rocket go is integrated together properly, and it has its roots in a tried and true place. This booster for us is, you know, derived from the space shuttle boosters. It's, um, so it's not necessarily new technology, but it's a new design. A new design that weighs in at 1.4 million pounds each, and once ignited, the rockets are propelled forward at 3.6 million pounds of thrust. But after all the tests, math, science, and sleepless nights, there was one thing that proved tricky. It's to paint the NASA logo on the boosters. And that was very interesting for us. Kind of a big problem to solve because you're trying to paint it on a round surface that's not smooth and has all these bumps and lines and, and other surfaces and, and the team really pulled that off. So now this rocket will be looking good going to space, the moon, and even beyond. Anytime a rocket launches is a lot of fun. It's a feeling of awe. You feel the power as the energetics go off and the propulsion and there's the light and the smoke and it's great. Fire. Being part of it and, and knowing that, um, you know, it's your, it's your work you've done your best. There's always that little bit of, you know, a lot of butterflies, a lot of nervousness. And so you're going to Florida, right? I am. Um, I'm so excited about it and it, it makes me want to try my best and, and, you know, reach for that next goal. So as Artemis One sits awaiting destiny, many Utahns are watching on, knowing without our help, space would be unreachable. And all those kids looking up and wondering what's out there, would be left grounded. So I'll be the first one to tell you I'm I'm that kid today. So I would tell every kid out there from you know two to 102 to take that inspiration and run with it. And it's that inspiration that is perfectly uniquely. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Utah. Tranquility base here. The angle has landed. See what you can achieve. Reach for the stars. So there she is, Artemis One, ready on the launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida, at Kennedy Space Center. And as of now, weather permitting, Artemis One will launch on November 16th with Matt and the rest of Utah's Northrop Grumman team watching on as their hard work lifts humanity back to the stars. In studio, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.